Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 13 to 14. Sorry guys, you guys are gonna see me kind of adjusting quite a bit because my back is killing me. I put some oil on the back of it, so... Alright, I have so many more other webtoons to read and finish, so let's go ahead and get started. Ariadne. How do you gain such knowledge of theology? I read the books in your study to pass time, father. You mean to say you taught yourself? The insight she displayed was hardly befitting that of a self-taught fifteen-year-old. <laughs> I suspected that he might be doubtful. Yes, father. I was particularly struck by Woolcliffe's, Wycliffe's, reflections on the true nature of the Holy Son, and the Pelican's letter on the study of the Trinites. Did you finish them both? Wycliffe focused on the somatic structure, highlighting the repetition of the phrase the Holy Son through the Holy Father in the Book of Med Meditations thereby proving that the Son and the Father are one and the same. It's an obscure treatise, treatise for now, but it becomes an essential read for all nobility in a few years. Uh. <laughs> I hold a scripture study with a number of priests in the great chapel. Would you care to join us? I can't reveal my hand so soon. I wouldn't dare dare to impose, Father. I'll be embarrassed to show the shallowness of my learning. I would much prefer to continue studying at home and ask you questions as they arise, if I may. <laughs> as you wish, you may leave. That could have been much worse, I suppose. Radne. Huh? Does he still suspect something? Yes, your eminence. <sighs> well done. He complimented her. I'm the queen in this life. Episode 13. Cesare. Have you heard the latest of the Cardinal de Mer's second daughter? Look, look, look. She's a devout believer. She's the hero of San Carlo. She's following in the good cardinal's footstep. It seems the entire kingdom of Etruscan is enamored with the girl. Look, look. He drinks a lot. Jessere, you have a duty to choose for yourself a spouse who is highly virtuous and wise. Remember, you are to ascend to the throne one day. Ugh. Wake up, mother. Alfonso has an iron grip over the throne already. I am under no illusions as to my chances. <laughs> there you go again. As I've often told you, your father's love for you knows no bounds. Oh, he has anger issues. Oh, is that why he condemned me to the life of an unlanded noble to rot within the palace walls? K the son of a king bestowed a measly countdom. <sighs> oh. Don't, do not raise your voice at me, boy. It was not so long ago I bore you inside this very womb. Oh, you will be king. <sighs> Palace gossip has it that His Majesty plans to bestow the heart of the deep blue sea upon the girl. The heart of the deep. Blue Sea. 
Do you know why I coveted the stone all these years? Yes, I know, I know. You were once foretold the future by a fortune teller. <laughs> Quite so. The seer told me that the one who possesses the heart of the deep blue sea shall rise to the throne one day. In time, I became the king's woman, and I delivered him a son. Just as a fortune teller said I would. What I mean to say is, I do this for you, no one else. Bring me the heart of the deep blue sea. In recognition of the courageous display of faithful devotion at the great mass by the second daughter of His Eminence Cardinal de Mare, Her Royal Majesty Queen Margaret shall bestow a gift upon her at the palace of the Queen. That's a huge deal. Oh, she's wearing an... She's wearing an, an elegant dress. Oh my gosh, like I'm stumbling over my words. Though I don't feel like this dress compliments her eyes and her hair, but it's something. You must behave yourself and avoid trouble at all costs. Do you understand? Of course, father. I'm surprised he personally escorted me here. The Queen herself has invited me on His Majesty's behalf to grant me a reward. My sole intention was to avoid my betrothal to Chesare, but now the matter has gone out of hand. Uh, huh? Perhaps it's a tad bland. Even a single flower might brighten up the, the symbol. Let's see. I remember there being peonies in the rear country courtyard of the Queen's Palace. Ariadne. Uh-uh. Over here. Oh. Alfonso. To be continued. Whew. Oh, Alfonso, come up here, Erane. Oh, dear, I didn't mean for you to solo your white dress. Perhaps you should have thought of that before you called me up here. <laughs> Erane, would you care to climb up here for a moment? I'm the queen in this life. Episode 14. Into his lap? Surely this is far too forward, even for a prince. No, what are you waiting for, Ariane? Alfonso represented your only chance of escape. From Cesare and the Demare family alike. He's your golden ticket. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. There. Hmm? Now, that ought to keep your dress clean for now. Ta-da! <laughs> of course, I should have suspected as much. By the by, what brings you to the palace, Ariadne? I'm scheduled for an audience with Her Majesty the Queen today. Oh, I see. So today is the day. Father speaks the world of you, you know. He even says it's cr a crying shame he can't grant you a knighthood. A shame indeed. I always wanted to be a knight in a shining armor. Did you truly? I suppose so. 
In that case, I will knight you myself one day. <laughs> oh, perhaps I'll be swearing an oath of allegiance to you then. <clears throat> I swear upon the sanctity, sanctity of my soul to pledge my everlasting loyalty to my liege from this moment on. I shall protect and honor him in the face of any hardship or strife, placing the well-being of my liege above my own life. I will speak nothing but truth in my liege and keep my oath under the watchful eyes of our Lord God. My service unto him shall be undying, unchanging, and unwavering to the end of my days. Uh -oh. I, I must say that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> With bright and loyal people like you by my side. I might become a half-decent king after all. Oh. Oh. In my previous life, I lured Alfonso into a trap and led him to his demise. How brazen of me to swear an oath of allegiance to him now. If he learns that I wronged him so in my past, Alfonso might even grow to hate me. Pity, I would rather enjoy governing alongside you. And he certainly would never smile at me again. Oh, huh? Oh no, w watch out! Are you right? Th thank you. You ought to be more cautious. You're right. <laughs> what is this feeling? Suddenly, my heart feels... What were you doing in the garden before I found you? This isn't the way to Mother's audience chamber, you know. Oh, that's right. I was looking for a flower to decorate my hair. <laughs> I was worried that my outfit was a little drab. Drab, you say? I find it rather striking, actually. Uh-huh. Not at all. I should have worn some jewelry to add some glamour. I must be the only lady to take an audience with the queen in this sorry, sorry state. Uh, oh, it wasn't my intention to say so much. Oh, I see. That's been weighing on your mind. Would this suffice? Oh. It's all messy. He used his jacket decoration and tied my hair himself. <laughs> it's because of his unembellished and innocent nature. Does it look odd? I'm a novice. <laughs> I appreciate it. Alfonso. That I, in the name of His Majesty, King Leo III, I hereby bestow the following upon the second daughter of Cardinal de Mer, with the hope that her service to our great kingdom shall continue. You may approach. I never thought His Majesty would give this to you. Huh? May I ask what is it that His Majesty wishes to bestow me upon me? You will receive fifty ducado in gold, a box of ornaments chosen by me, and above all, the heart of the deep blue sea. <gasps> Your Majesty, I cannot possibly accept such a gift. I beg of you, Your Majesty. Why would she refuse such a generous gift? Does she not see that is an honor for her family? Rightfully so. A treasure like that is almost too good to be a family heirloom. It might be a great honor and privilege for someone else. But it's essentially a threat to my life at the moment. All those who want the jewel for themselves 
will be out to stab me in the back. Ariadne de Mer, of course I understand. However, I'm afraid His Majesty wills it. This is for you. Since you have no power to protect the jewel by yourself, I'd advise making all those who are obsessed with the jewel to come to a standoff. In other words, I would have them keep each other in check. The queen is giving her advice. However, I imagine it's easier said than done. If so, your majesty, pardon my impertinence. But could I possibly trouble you for a favor, your majesty? Well, you may. Tell me your concern. Huh. You... You shameless girl! I'm like... Uh, I had to look at my, my calendar. I'm like... Wait, what? This video, I'm only reading 13, 14, and it's the 14th episode, so I can't read the next one until next month because I'm wrapping up for the other read. <gasps> what did she say? Oh, goodness, goodness. Oh my gosh. So, yes, having this jewelry that is so sought after will create many enemies for her. A girl who is one. Consider like uh, what's it called like a child out of wedlock pretty much and she's so looked down upon and she doesn't have an army of people to protect her like she doesn't have friends powerful friends to protect her you know so having that item does create a big target on her and oh, man so her journey through this to become the queen in this life is gonna be very very bumpy it's getting good <laughs> all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way the way i read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up drop some comments and i'll catch you guys next time bye